good spot to be today uh if you're going walking down the street the shady side of the street is going to be better than the sunny side we got so much heat building here into the northeast and new york city just one of the spots that will be feeling it so let's break down the numbers. How high is it going to get and for how long? That's a part of the question because this is going to be a long heat wave. Temps today again in the 90s, 91 degrees. You know, we have the chance of thunderstorms today and that will provide us some brief breaks from the heat. Brief is the key word because it'll be steamy, I think, once those storms move through. And then we've got 94 on Friday. It gets hotter behind the front. We have 95 on Saturday and on Sunday, and it stays in the 90s on Monday. So this is a heat wave. Temps are going up for 195 million, above 90 today, 190 on your Friday, and then on Saturday, we've got 222 million people that will be above 90. Now, I know 90 might be average-ish, but it's above average for a lot of us, especially, you know, into the Northeast. And temperatures going up, the fact that the dew points are up as well, combination of those two is the reason why we have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories, that heat index going up to some dangerous levels, uh, especially during the heat of the afternoon, but it lingers into the evening. You think you're going to go for a jog at 6 or 7 o'clock tonight? No, it's still going to be hot. Today, temps, look at Philly, 98, D.C., 94. Five degrees. We've got that heat building, and the feels like we'll be up to 107 in Philadelphia. All right, so this is, is some of the extent of the heat here. You can see in Norfolk an example of just how high 
that heat index stays in for how long. And Alex, when we get a storm, it breaks it momentarily, but then it jumps right back up again. Yeah, that's it. It's just 